what's up my leos my leos in the building it's your divine moon goddess coming at you with a little bit of tarot as always uh check the description box you can find out everything you need to know about this channel in the description box um, my paypal cash app information if you would like to donate to the channel my email address if you would like to get a personal reading the different decks the card decks that i use um different sites that i use for spiritual stuff um including my new candle line the divine moon goddess candle line which is um right now showcased um at healing essence by a breezy go check them out um the website is coming soon i will have that information soon as it loads um and if you would like to connect with me on social media, I'm under AG Milestones. Um, that is my pen name. Um, I am a writer. I have a book out called Blood of Silas. Um, it is a vampire drama, so go take a look at it. It's on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. The link is in the description box. You guys like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I pick a winner every 1st and 15th of the month. Um, I started this back in August. No one has claimed their free readings. So go back and check the winner videos. You could have won and not even know. All right. Make sure you subscribe and you guys check your settings. If you're private, I can't see you and I can't enter you to win. You have to be public. All right. Um, so we're doing Leo. We're doing Leo and we're talking about Leos who have been ghosted. And we're wondering why we got ghosted, right? So Leos, check it out. We are about to see why you got ghosted. Now, sometimes it's the divine stepping in, and it doesn't matter what you believe in, God, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, whoever, whoever, your angels had to step in and take these people away because sometimes they're just full of shit. Other times people actually have stuff going on in their life that they didn't want to bring you into and that you should respect them that they didn't bring you into their bullshit, right? So let's take a look at why you got ghosted, my Leos. Let's see. We're going to look at their energy first and see what's going on in their life right now. What's the energy looking like? And then we'll look at um, if spirit feels like you should um, speak to them. Woo! We already got the devil card. All right. All right, so Leo, I feel like the person, well, they're definitely guarded. The person's definitely guarded. This could be seen two ways. It could be the person being very guarded, or it could be um, them having a victory in their situation. So right now, what I see is the devil card. So your person could actually be struggling with addiction. And that addiction is more important than trying to connect with you. Um, they could also be um, a workaholic, you know, because the devil energy is all about obsessions, addictions, um, very magnetic energy. I feel like your person actually could be bonded to somebody else. Um, and every time they want to leave that person, they get magnet magnetically pulled back to them. Um... I also have the Six of Cups, even though it is in reverse. The Six of Cups is my past life soulmate card. Um, so that's what makes me feel like they could be bonded to someone else um, with these two cards together. Um, if it does make me feel like they're bonded, even though they don't want to be in that connection or be dealing with this person because the Six of Cups is in reverse. And to me, when it's in the upright, it's that longing, it's it's being nostalgic um when it's in reverse it's kind of the opposite it's, it's kind of like i wish i could pull myself from this connection but i'm bonded to it and something keeps pulling me back they're definitely depressed due to it even though they have the sun card um and this might be them thinking of you leo you know you could be on their mind with the sun card or they could just be there is light shining on their particular situation but they're very depressed and they're very bonded to something so either it's a person and i do feel like for most of them it's a person with the six of cups or it could be their addictions um and that could go from gambling sex drugs 
alcohol to even being a workaholic where working is more important than trying to establish a connection with you my leos okay um definitely they're very sad um and i i feel like some of them not all of them this is a general reading it's going to resonate with some of you it's going to resonate with some of you even if my cross watchers are poking in but see yeah and i have the eight of swords in their head and here goes the queen of swords in reverse now you could have been dealing with an air sign leo if you were dealing with an air sign which is a libra gemini or aquarius um this is their energy if you weren't dealing with an air sign then this could be who they are bonded to okay um but they're definitely imprisoned in their head about it but honestly it's not just them being imprisoned in their head about the situation um because that came out with the queen of swords they are in their head about the situation but in actuality they are bonded to this person they have a cycle to go through um, with this person okay now definitely it's sad right now you know there's depression and they're in their heads about the connection that they're going through and this is why they haven't reached out to you and they need to finish this cycle when you're um, bound to another soul with the devil energy it is not it's some people can look at it as karmic relationships right um, they're not easy to step away from, even though you know, um, that it's unhealthy, it's toxic, you know, you should keep going, um, some, but you, your soul lessons are tied to the person until you learn those soul lessons. Um, you keep going back to the, to those people, even though it's a very unhealthy, um, relationship. And that queen of swords, when she's in reverse, she's very mean, very cold, uh, revengeful, um, she'd be very nasty, very sharp with her words as well. Okay. All right. So let's see, should my Leos reach out? I mean, honestly, just with these cards, I would say no already that you should not reach out Leo. I think you guys should keep going. I feel like you're dodging a bullet with this one because of the soul ties that they have. Um, they really have to to get work through this to untie themselves or if this is not a soul tie well honestly some of you some of you are dealing with someone with a soul tie now some of you are dealing with someone who just has addictions and those addictions are more important than connecting all right all right so let's see should seven of swords Huh, there was some sneaky shit going on. There isn't now, but there was. So definitely the, the person was not done with their person when they when they came to talk to you. Well, look, there's not going to be any Ten of Cups with this person because they have to finish out their, their cycle that they're on. They're undecided. Look at that. They're undecided. And that's a lot of air energy. They're undecided. They know that they need to leave the situation that they're in, but they're not leaving. In they're unhappy, unhappy, but they're not leaving. Now the Eight of Wands speaks of of communication and movement. So they could. This person could reach out to you, Leo. They very well could be uh, reaching out to you um, to try to start talking to you. But honestly, um, you gotta make. You got to make the decisions. Okay. You got to make the decision. Do you want to deal with this or not? Because it is, you'll be in a third party for a while until they can, until they can close the door to the past. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can get it to work. There we go. Um, you might get some quick, um, communication from them, but just know it's not going to be over with what they're dealing with. Not yet, but cause see, the Queen of Swords is over the Five of Cups, which is very depressive energy, sadness. But then you still have the Two of Swords underneath it, which is that person not making a decision to leave this Queen of Swords, even though they, they know that they should. You have the Eight, they're in their head about it. You have the Six of Cups in reverse, and you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So at this point, even though you might get some communication, 
and it does seem like they're not trying to be tricky with you with the seven of um swords in reverse they're not trying to be sneaky to have you in a third party connection the thing about it is is that they are so tied to this other person that um they they can't help it the other ones that are um with addictions and stuff they're just unhappy they're unhappy deep within this this is that you know this is my ten of cups which should be deep love and happiness that person is just they're not happy inside right now they're not going to be able to offer you ten of cups if they can't even offer the cups to themselves okay and they're depressed all right so just to let you guys know on the board of course the queen of Qu uh, queen of swords came out which is which is air i normally just look at the major arcana and the court cards for signs um we pretty much have everybody on the board except for earth i don't have any earth signs um i just have water scorpio cancer and pisces i have capricorn um well that's earth but it's just because of the devil energy and then i have air gemini libra and aquarius and then i have leo um and sagittarius that's the sagittarius and that's the sagittarius card so you could be dealing with the sagittarius all right or libra Libras on that one as well. All right, let me get you some love guidance, some general love guidance. I really feel like Leo, you guys are dodging a bullet, dodging a bullet. Okay, but let me get you some universal love guidance so that you can move on. There's more fish in the sea. Don't dwell on this connection. Don't dwell on these people. It could have been going really good shit that devil energy could have been uh magnetically pulling you to them because some people just have that type of energy it's very strong but they're actually you know they're not the ones for you okay all right let's see it's gonna drive me crazy but all right what else does spirit want to tell my leos my leos what message all right one that popped out was reflection let me see if i can get one more one more from me that is way too damn many but the other one i will keep does say soulmate so i feel like some of you have a soulmate coming into your life um the other thing i'm going to say unfortunately leo some of you guys this is a soulmate for you but it's not going to be a good one <laughs> um this could be a karmic soulmate for some of you and you're gonna have to learn some lessons from them if if that's the deal um i hope that's not the deal and this is just telling you that um some of you have soulmates in the mix coming to you so don't worry about this person that ghosted you okay some of you just need to reflect to what you what type of energy are you giving out to the universe a lot of times we don't realize that we're part of the problem when we're attracting people we think that we're on a certain level and actually inside on a soul level we're not there yet so sometimes we just need to reflect and look at what we're putting out into the universe so that we can call true soulmates that are loving and respectful and caring okay so reflection it says consider all you have accomplished remember what you were like five years ago or ten years ago look back and you'll realize just how far you've come acknowledge the experiences that have helped you get where you are hopefully you will see that even painful or unpleasant events served a purpose Reflection is the way of meaningful living. In the quiet of the dawning, watch your world unfold. Draw out the wisdom. Detach from all that is not truth and delight in revelation. Stand before the glory of life and reflect. Only you know how far you have traveled to be where you are. Everything turns golden with the passing of time. Like autumn leaves that fall to the ground, filling the tapestry of our lives with beautiful colors. So some of you just need to reflect on where, where you've come um you've come very far and, and you're still here and keep going keep pushing keep 
you know, because you're going to get to where you want to go. You're going to get to this soulmate that you truly desire. Unfortunately, some of you were dealing with the karmic. Um, if you continue to let this person keep coming into your life, you're going to go around and around like the hamster on the wheel. You have to change the cycles. These cycles are brought by past life bullshit that we don't that we don't finish and we don't close out. And so it keeps coming. So um, some of you dodged a bullet. But some of you, I feel like maybe you had um, maybe dated this person or maybe possibly could have gotten intimate with this person. Um, and that's why it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit obsessive energy and um, can't let go of this person. Um, but like I said, a lot of you have a soulmate coming. This is If this is your soulmate, you have to let them close out this cycle. You need to give them the space to close out this cycle with whoever this Queen of Swords is, okay? All right, so we have soulmate. It says, love is the divine and universal energy of life. It is alive, intelligent, and in constant communion with all creation. When love calls you, go to her. Search for her. Search for love no matter where the journey takes you. Remember, somewhere another soul is in search of you. Somewhere a heart longs for your companionship. Honor your soulmate by continuing your quest for great love until today's longing becomes tomorrow's joy. Until then, prepare by, re by respecting and caring for yourself. Gather riches of kindness, knowledge, compassion, strength, and vulnerability. The quester's dream is deep and rejuvenating, and it is here you will meet until you find each other. If you are already with your soulmate, this is a reminder to treasure and be grateful for the love you share. So, I feel, for most of you, I feel like you have to keep pushing. Your soulmate is out there and you will find them. People like this, let them go. If this person is truly meant to be in your life, they will come around. Now, some of you, I do believe this is a soulmate of yours. It will come back around and it is all about how you're going to deal with them, okay? So as always, my Leos, my light, my love, my love and my light. Until next time, bye.